The message you're about to listen to is a message from Apostle Eric Nyamiche, the chairman of the Church of Pentecost. Apostle Eric Nyamiche preaches the gospel in its simplest form to help the believers walk in Christ and also how the believer relate with his world. This year, the message is on unleashing the church to possess nation. Join us and let's learn from Apostle Eric Nyamiche and be a blessing to the world. If you are new to this page, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so that when new videos are uploaded, you can have access to it. Make sure you go to our own page and check out for more videos. Thank you. We need to have a clear cut resolution. Know who you are and declare who you are. We need to have a clear cut resolution. Now, as you go back to school, have a clear cut resolution. Maybe you are to your workplace, have a clear cut resolution this year. Know who you are and declare who you are. Why am I saying this? Daniel 1, verse 8. Daniel 1, verse 8. Very popular verse. But Daniel resolved not to defile himself with the royal food and wine. And he asked the chief officials for permission not to defile himself this way. You see, I think we all know this, or if you don't know, it's one of the popular verses in Daniel. See, right at the start of his training, he made a firm decision. The people knew what he stood for. Right at the beginning of the training. You see, this, this declaration was made right at the beginning. Once they brought their food, they said, we will not eat. Right at the beginning. So the people knew the principles on which he stood on. Sometimes we hide our Christianity, and that becomes a problem to us. Declare who you are. Declare who you are. Let your friends know that this is who you are. See, when I was growing up humbly, I would always declare who I was. And up to today, I would declare who I am. And beyond that, I tried in my mind to be the pastor among the pastors, to be the Christian among the Christians, tried, set myself higher standards, higher standards that I will pastor the pastors when pastors meet. And when we were boys, I tried to be the best Christian among them. <laughs> I remember when I was in Thomas Secondary School, they used to call me Sir Holiness. <laughs> I've just remembered Sir Holiness. You see, because I set myself higher standards and for them to give you uh, this one is not from the Queen of England. This one is from my own colleagues. And I thank God for that. Set yourself higher standards. Right at the beginning. Let people know who you are. And stick to it. Know what you stand for. Right at the start of his training, he made a firm decision. The people knew what he stood for. Now, Daniel 6 verse 5. Daniel 6 verse 5. Finally, this man said, we will never find any basis for charges against this Daniel unless it has something to do with the law of his God. You know, he set the standards and now he's old and they want charges against him. They want some fault. They say, ask for this man unless, because they know his stance. Set, let people know your stand. Now, if you have been going out with this young man who is not your husband. As you go back, let him know your stand. Don't be going to him as if you are going to visit him. It doesn't matter. You see, it, it matters. Let them know your stand. Don't let people be fumbling with you and say, oh, stop, stop. Let them know your stand. Let your lecturers know your stand. Let them know who you are. Taking a firm step at the start helps us keep our commitment as time goes on. When people get to know we are Christians and that we have certain principles, they expect us to act differently. And sometimes when they are joking and you also come in or you do certain things, ah, but you said you are a Christian. So now the people even expect you to act differently. Let them know your stand. Let us listen to Jesus. One of the most powerful verses in scripture and I like it. John chapter 9, verse 5. John 9, 5. This is the master himself. While I am in the world, I am the light of the world. 
I like the King James, as long as I'm in the world. You see, he's saying that as long as I'm in the world simply means that there's going to come a time that I will not be in this world. But as long as I'm around, I am the light of the world. Declare who you are. Declare who you are. And that one is able to shield you. Declare who you are. Then in John 8, 12, Jesus said, when Jesus spoke again to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. As Jesus reps here on earth, we are the light of the earth and we must declare it. Jesus told the disciples, you are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. A town built, build your, your town on a hill and don't hide it. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on a stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. Don't hide your light. Lift it and put it on a stand. Let everybody know who you stand for and draw your lines. Draw your lines. Number two, be wise as serpents and harmless as the dove in dealing with the world. In dealing with the world, be wise as serpent and harmless as the dove. You see, because the world is a dangerous place. They are wicked people and they are wicked men. The world is full of trappings. The devil is a schemer. If Jacob was a supplanter, then don't try Satan and the devil. See, he is a supplanter. He's a schemer. And sometimes he uses many tricks to take away Jesus from us. So be careful and then be very wise in the way you deal with the world. Matthew 10 verse 16. I am sending you out like sheep among the wolves. So when we are saying we are unleashing you into the world, we are unleashing you as sheep among the wolves. Therefore, be as shrewd as snakes and as innocent as doubt. Now the snake, this serpent is shrewd. It is very subtle. It is only the snake that can leave you few in your room for the rest of your life, but you will never meet it. Snake can leave you few comfortably in your room, and you, you, you make sure that you don't see it. He says that be shrewd like that, and then innocent as a dove. So now the dove does not commit anything that will bring him trouble. Once you blink your eyes, the dove is gone. So try not to be somebody who is suffering because of your own evil. Try not to bring problems on yourself. Walk this way. You see, the Bible says that the road that leads to heaven is a narrow way. But some of you, you walk carelessly, you throw your hands about. That is not how Christians walk on the planet Earth. They walk this way. Because that road that leads to heaven is narrow. So how do you throw your hands about? Be careful and be wise. When we are dealing with the world. Daniel made a firm resolution. Not to eat the king's food or drink his wine. But did so with a polite and respectful request. He should be a wise person. To have served for, for over 67 years. In the palace under four powerful kings. As a foreigner. He should be a very wise person. And you see from the way he speaks. This is the queen of Persia's testimony about Daniel, as recorded in Daniel 5, from verse 11. Daniel 5, 11. There is a man in your kingdom who has the spirit of the holy gods in him. In the time of your father, he was found to have insight and intelligence and wisdom like that of the gods. <laughs> like this is the woman's testimony about the foreigner who has lived around all this. By this time, his age, he was grown over 70 years or 80 plus. Your father, King Nebuchadnezzar, I pointed him chief of the magicians, enchanters, astrologers, and div diviners. He said, This man is full of intelligence and wisdom. Over the years, this is the queen's testimony concerning that man. We need to be wise. In dealing with the world, we need to be extremely careful in how we handle our life. 
how we handle our life. If you're a lady, be careful the times you visit young people. It can cost you. Handle your life. Our time. Handle our time. The places we trek. Now, this leg is for you. Advise the leg to go to certain places and not to go to certain places. Don't let your leg carry you. Take control of your life. Your own body, please. Please, please. The company we keep, we have to be wise. So far as the company we keep is concerned. The literature we read. The music we listen to. The time we move out and come in. We need to be wise. 